And it is pouring down rain in the metro area. You can see from our sky cam here on Top Golf as we're looking toward the bridge. We've got to obviously a very wet camera lens. Visibility is not too bad though, even though it is coming down fairly hard. Uh, you're still able to see. It's just not going to be very fun to uh, to drive in. Everything is below severe limits though. WVTM 13 live Doppler at 516, still showing plenty of heavy rain along the I-65 corridor from Warrior down through much of uh, Hoover, Pelham, Alabaster, Calera down I-65 into much of Chilton County too. We're starting to see the rain let up a little bit there in the northwest, but everybody else is still pretty socked in with plenty of rain and some occasional thunder and lightning too. It's certainly not quite as uh, as widespread as it was earlier this morning and most of the severe storms are south of us kind of even south of Montgomery. Uh, some damaging winds possible within that uh, embedded line, but you'll notice now the back edge of the rain starting to uh, move through the interstate there into central Mississippi and so we will see the rain gradually come to an end by the mid to late morning hours. So we still have a few hours of some pretty good solid and heavy rain at times. And so impact weather expected with those high rain chances. They're at least about a nine or 10 o'clock this morning. And then I really think after that point, we'll start to see those numbers coming down. Rain chances will drop off. The rain will come to an end. Temperatures will start to rebound with many of us expected to climb into the low and mid 70s for this afternoon. And there's a look at the future cast. And so you can see around nine o'clock. I really think the back edge of the rain will really start to approach the I-65 corridor. And so kind of a little bit before 9 a.m., the rain really starting to come to an end for many of our western counties. And then it may take until lunchtime or so before the rain really starts to exit East Alabama. But I do think we will see overall drier weather this afternoon, maybe even a little bit of clearing or some breaks in the clouds. But the actual front is not forecast to come through until a little bit later on tonight. And so until that happens, notice eight, nine o'clock later on tonight, you can see a few showers, maybe even some isolated thunderstorms too tonight as the actual front comes in. But coverage does not look to be all that widespread, so we'll keep rain chances is obviously fairly high this morning, but they will drop off significantly after lunchtime today. Dry Sunday and Monday, and we'll see the chance for some showers coming back by about Tuesday. Tomorrow, mid 70s expected, some 80s on Monday, slight chance on Tuesday, maybe a little better chance for some showers by the middle of next week, but temperatures look to cool off a bit too. Stay with us. You're watching WVTM 13 News.